All right. Hello, everybody. We're so, back for more Radiant Dawn. Yep. I am the Radiant Hero. The ra Oh, yeah, and Jacob, by the way, the volume is very low on your end. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Seb. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not Seb. Uh, there, I can... Because this parsec is always really fucking loud, so I have to lower his parsec volume. And I have to l listen to yours because it's really low. I should have noticed it early. Hmm. <laughs> Either mine is just really quiet, or everybody else is really too loud. I can't really let's, tell. Let's not think about it too much. Yep. <laughs> Mike has two magic. He really doesn't need magic, though. Good magic. Now let's see who it is. <laughs> it's Mr. <laughs> Weed again. <laughs> is, it, is it really Mr. Weed? He looks like... French. Oh, this is Lunase. Look how mega our force is, especially considering our proximity to Kalia. Fantastic. And this guy. <laughs> Whoever this guy is. Give him the Garfield voice. <laughs> uh, General S September, sir. <laughs> September. Only... <laughs> We're only making rounds and rounds this evening. We don't need bigger forces. I hate Mondays. <laughs> I hate Mondays. Yes, no, I <laughs> no, you're wrong. Even now, those bloodthirsty beasts are stalking us. I just know it. Believe me. Don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> General, even though I hate Mondays, please calm yourself down. You say this every evening, and yet we never had any lasagna. Enemy fire, we're under attack. It's those galleon beasts. The subhumans are attacking us. Boo hoo. <laughs> we don't care. I don't care. What? See? See? Now do you see, fool? I was right. Uh, I told you. Ah, uh, ho ho. Well, now what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Just give me lasagna, John. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, uh, this guy. But I forgot who voiced him, honestly. You voiced him and give him the skin, the Skinner voice. Oh yeah, that's right. Run down all who get in your way. Make your path of blood and bone. Advance, advance, advance. We're gonna have steamed clams. <laughs> yeah, that is on our side. See the family resemblance. Keep up, everyone. Yeah. Let's get to work. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. Oh, <laughs> Another dark chapter. Oh, this is really the first bike chapter. It's freaking dark chapter. Yeah. That sounds so mid, dude. Well, Jacob, uh. At least we got everybody that we know. That's true. Well, yeah. I mean, Jacob, we have so many keepers that we want. We have Ike. It's good stats. Very good stats. Pretty much everybody is a keeper. Titania. Also yep. a keeper. Mommy. Tori. I'd say yes. He is definitely a keeper. Yep. Mist. I'm going to give her more EXP. Oh yeah, he's level one. And Rolf, I could debate if he is either good or terrible. I mean, you never use James Rolf anyway. Yeah, true. Boyd, he's decent. And yeah, he is your axe user. Well, well, actually, he's a warrior. Okay, same thing. Oscar, I, I mean, he is manageable. Oh, sh sh Shinnan, I'm definitely keeping him. Yeah, we're, ret we're retconning his death from Path of Radiance. Yeah, we definitely are. 
and we should also note that he is close to capping most of his stats. He's gonna. Yeah. He's close. He's close to capping strength, uh, skill, speed, even defense and res. I mean, he is a. He is a. Um, a dragon. Well, he is a very balanced unit. Yep. And, and Gatry is gonna be really strong in this. Yeah, he's your general. And Riz? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, he's he's definitely got the fact that he can use light magic is already good. And I'm Mia, definitely gonna we love yeah, Mia. I'm definitely gonna keep Mia. I really don't care what anybody says. I'm keeping her. <laughs> yeah, because I like Mia. And those are all the units we and, uh, we have more <laughs> keepers. I was like, I was I was gonna make a joke saying like, eh, and we don't need Ike. We we can keep Ike behind. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> so, Jacob, what do you think of the music? Uh, I'd need to hear more of it. Honestly, it's kind of quiet. I should probably up the volume of it. No, not not in graphic. A little, it's a little on the quiet side, honestly. There we go. That should be good. You know what this music sounds like? What? Give me a sec. This music so this music sounds like uh it sounds like Echoes of Daybreak. Okay. Yeah, you know which one I'm talking about, yeah? Maybe. Is that the um The very that's, first uh, map that's, theme? That's Micaiah's theme, right? Yeah. I thought he, I, I thought he, he's gonna I thought Ike's sword was called Retard. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what we're gonna keep calling it. <laughs> sure, we could just call it. But yeah, it literally sounds like Micaiah's very first map. Yeah. But this one sounds a lot better, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, hell yeah! Banger music time. You've waited for this moment, yeah? I was not expecting it to play right there, though, I will be honest. Yeah! We are okay. gonna get to the best music of- Okay, so no, okay, okay. So no the, map, the map music is just really fucking quiet, it's not that game itself. Oh my god! Ike is gonna be a beast in this game. Damn, Ike's retard does a lot of damage. I'm in both BC <laughs> with others. He already crits? Wow, first th first hit he crits. I wasn't even paying attention. I was reading Zeffy's chat. I'm in both what? BC with others and on this stream. Oh, good. All the fun units you can mess around with. Jacob, every single unit that I'm gonna play is fun. Yeet. Damn. See, I'm really glad that the music doesn't reset every time you fight, so it, it keeps going. <laughs> I think it was cool that the music doesn't even reset. That almost makes me believe that in Path of Radiance, that was a bug. Likely, yeah. We're gonna be here for a while. Not really. Oh, well, I'm just gonna chill. That's understandable. We're gonna get to enemy phase, number one. Ooh, listen to this music! It's good, too. 
What, there's a there's a bunch of kitties over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I forgot about that. Jacob, I think... I think the music in Section 3 is going to be the best. I can guarantee it. Ganar. <laughs> and Ranulf is there. Oh, nice. My favorite character, Galia. You know, Jacob, the more that I think about it, I think most of the Lagoos are not going to be useful in this game. <laughs> he remembers the Great Aether on Door segment. Yes, he does. I don't think that's going to happen. More units! Yeah, Great! Buffering. Something wrong? Yeah. Game's kind of having a rough time. It, like, buffers every now and then. What if I, um... Is there a way I could, like, fix that? I forget. Maybe I have to, like, overclock it or something. You for gore. I for gore. I mean, overclocking, it definitely helps in some cases. Or underclocking if it can't keep up. And it's also because of the texture, the HD texture pack. That's likely a problem. Aw, oh, yeah, here's the music again. See, I think the reason the reason why I thought this was a map theme and not a battle theme was because um, it plays on a DLC map. Or a, no, not a DLC, an emblem map in uh, Engage. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a map theme and not a battle theme. Well, maybe you haven't... Holy shit! 45% <laughs> crit. Well, maybe you haven't listened to enough uh, <laughs> Fire Emblem music to debate which one is map theme or not. Usually, map themes are longer. Mm. And battle themes tend to be shorter. I think I can unplug my phone now. Kind of hard to read chat when it's all the way over there. Great, wow. perfect damage. Wow, nice job, Mia. It's the furry cult and human cult as the gray units. <laughs> Who said that? That be. Hooray! So chat isn't loading. For my end, at least. Oh yeah, it does that. I hate when it does that. I always have to exit, freaking. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Twitch Mobile fucking sucks. <laughs> it does stink. Oh, I'll try turning off. I'll try turning off VSync too. That might help. I remember why I turned it back on? But it could also just be because I'm using like very fast settings on Twitch. So if I were to turn it down to like super fast. That might help, too. But then the, the stream quality will look shit. There are so many skills that I want to give away, too. <laughs> the skills. Ooh, I might have an idea. And also, I had an idea on how to make MGBA's D-pad work, potentially. And how. I was thinking, what if I made Parsec accept y'all's inputs as a DualShock 4 instead of an Xbox 360 na, 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 na. That could work. I haven't tested it yet. Also, I, also, I downloaded a different version of MGBA again. I downloaded a um, portable version instead of an installation, which I don't know if it helps, but I tested out MGBA last night with Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And I connected two controllers to my computer. I connected a series at my Series X controller, and then I also connected a Pro controller, my Pro, my Switch Pro controller. And as far as I know, the uh, the D-pad didn't get fucked up, so that might be good sign. I'm not sure. I, I'd have to test I, it out. Jacob, with I always hate it when D-pads get fucked up. And I, I don't know why it did that. It was the first time it did that because I don't remember it doing that when me and Zeppy tested out MGBA a few weeks ago. So I'm really hoping that um, 
it doesn't mess up when me and Jordan decide to play Maze of the Mirror next week. I'm taking a break after me and him finish Secret of Mana. Good luck with Secret of Mana. Well, I mean, it's, all, it's already done. <laughs> no, I mean, good luck with the other games that he's... With Kirby and the Amazing Mirror? Yep. Yeah, that's going to be a fun game, and it's also going to be a lot shorter. <laughs> It'll probably take like four or five streams at the most. Well, let's hope you're right about that. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Ike's sword means something cool in, like, you know, Latin or Greek mythology or something, but I just can't unsee it as the word retard. <laughs> just don't focus on it too much. Kind of like how Mia has a sword called the Wodao, which is definitely Chinese for something. It is Chinese. Oh, there's another crit. Wow, he's gonna score so many crits. Well, because Wodao kind of reminds me of Hu Tao. Also, that was some rough stuttering there. That's terrible hit rate. <laughs> Zero hit rate. Another unnecessary crit. <laughs> actually, I gotta wonder, is there a is there a hotkey for minimizing all my tabs? I actually never thought about that before. I don't think so, as far as I'm concerned. Well, let me look it up. I wanna see. Um, Windows D, Alt Spacebar N, Windows Key M. On, let me real quick test this out. I don't know if this is gonna. Okay. This might fuck up, but we'll see. Oh, that just. Oh, actually, yeah, that kind of did do something. It minimized everything. Wow, that that hotkey actually works. Hooray for hotkeys! Yay! Kind of sounds like hawk. It kind of sounds like hockey, actually. So since I minimized everything, that might that might also improve the performance. Yes. Miss. Good, good job, bike. I should I should memorize that hotkey. Windows Eventually. PM. Oh, they're gonna jump on him. Damn. Yeah, because if everything is minimized, then, um... It doesn't use as much CPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick a fight with the, uh, with the, all the tigers and stuff. It doesn't that matter if they, like it, it, it doesn't matter if they die. It would be like a who cares kind of way. Yeah. So what was the goal of this chapter again? To get Skinner to arrive. Oh. Basically, this is a, this is an arrive chapter. Thought we have to go over and talk to him. No. Just have to finish a map where a specific character has to arrive at the end of the map. So he has to make it to the end of the map. Yes. Who knows how fucking long that's gonna take. You can just fast forward if you want. <laughs> Victory Skinner arrives. <laughs> and that's probably why you're that's probably why you're killing all the units so he can make it there quicker. Yep, that's why. Hey, you might want to heal up Void. Come on, crit. There we go. It worked! It's nice to actually see some some Riz usage though, <laughs> because Zeppi stopped using him once we got missed. 
Pick up everybody loves mist. Very true. Even though she is tough to level up. Well, most healers are tough to level up. Unless you try to grind. Yeah, don't 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 be like Zeppi. <laughs> don't be like Zeppi and grind on Fire Emblem Engage at like nine in the morning. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> But why does that even matter? Oh, I'm just poking fun at it, because there were all there were all, all those times where I left my PC on overnight just so he could play engage in the morning and grind his his units up. Fun times. I like how proud Mia looks. <laughs> she's always proud. And oh. look at that, she's close to maxing out her speed. No surprise there. Yeah, I think Riz really needs more speed, however. <laughs> the fuck you say about me? <laughs> I was I was I was I was commenting on how um you would always uh grind on engage in the mornings and how I kinda look fondly on that. Basically, Zeppi, he's kinda bullying you. Well I'm bullying, but I'm also I also find it, you know, real I'm already so really fond of those times because there, there was something kind of cool about, like, just waking up in the morning and seeing, like, Engage being played on my computer. <laughs> That's something you can't really do in a Fire Emblem game like this, though, because it's all plot. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Jacob, I'm fine with that. I mean, it means you don't I have really... to- I mean, it means you don't have to grind this game out. You just kind of go and do it. I mean, I did grind a bunch of Ninja Guy and Sigma, but at a certain point, you didn't. You, I kind of just stopped having to grind. Only speed. Okay, that's fine. Well, well, he's gonna max it out soon. Well, well, at least speed is good. At least speed is good. At least you don't have to give him a speed wing. Yeah. Grinding, grinding is fun. I found it fun in Ninja Gaiden. I remember, I remember there was that one day where I stopped streaming Ninja Gaiden, and then I immediately went to grind for like an hour. Also, another crit. My bike over there. And he's, and he's going to level up. Cool. He's outspeeding a, a freaking general. I mean, he is a general. A general that's outspeeding a general. That's cool. Well, yeah, because the enemy units have shittier stats, obviously. Which is something I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I, d I remember doing an ambush in Ninja Guy and Sigma off screen, and there was just a shit ton of those SAT guys. And. Those guys were really fucking annoying, by the way, because they just kept command grabbing you, and they would take off like half your health bar. <laughs> it's got really a coin. Nice. It's really, it was really annoying. So I ended up buying like ten potions, and then I was a finally able to do it, and then I killed all of them, and, and I got a life of the thousand gods for it. Well, that's good. Yeah. All right, just. Wow, you missed at this again, point, though. I am gonna, at this point, I am going to pull your radiant dawn again o on my own time. Wow. Holy shit! Wiki, well, Wiki wasn't kidding when they said he got good stat ups. Yeah, he is going to be worth keeping. Yeah, there's a good there's a good chance we can play this again tomorrow because I'm not playing with Jordan this week. I think right, I should, I'll, I'll probably let him know. Fast though. forward. Okay. Which one was fast forward? Um, I don't know. For some reason, the fast forward key hasn't been working recently. I don't know why. I can't figure out why. Is it because of desync? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I try to use fast forward, it just doesn't do anything. 
It's like it's like the fast forward key doesn't even work. I could have a look into that. Okay. Yeah, cause look, the um, the uh, tab key, it's it's it's, act, it's it's there. What happens if I? What it, happens if I save? You can save. That works, but the. But speeding up doesn't work for some reason. It stopped working recently. It is odd. <laughs> Radiant Dawn Iron Man. I mean, what you could do... Let me have a look. Let me look, look at the hotkeys. We could, like, I don't know, maybe yeah. increase the emulation speed or something with, like, plus and minus. To answer Zeppi's question, yes, I am Iron Manning Radiant Dawn on my own time. Because... What the hell? I I'm very bored. Yeah, he's Yuffie. I am so <laughs> so oh my god! You saw that, right? A ballista got a crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, I am Iron Manning Radiant Dawn, but I just have to find a save file for hard mode. Oh. Yeah, I just needed. Yeah, all I needed was a save file to play New Game Plus, just because I want to play hard mode. And that's how I did it. Well, there might also be cheats for that, not sure. I don't think so. Every now and then there is an unlock everything cheat. It's always nice to have. Not in this game. But otherwise, yeah, injecting a save file is good too. Yeah, I don't know why the speed up isn't working. It's, it's been like that for the past few days, and I haven't figured out why. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> New Game Plus is in this game? Yes. Yay. Apparently, if you use uh, Path of Radiance uh, save files, some of the characters might actually get better growth rates. Is that true? I think so. Ho ho ho, weaklings. Where is your general? Come out and fight, coward. I am Skinner, General of Gallia. Oh no, they are drawing near. We are finished. We are doomed. Be quiet, John. You'll hurt the troops' morale. Wait, where are you going? Are you gonna give me lasagna? To safety, I must escape to Mughal. The beasts, the beasts wish to consume me. That's gross. Hmm. <laughs> General September John, Godless Coward, are you scared of worthless uh, subhumans who are in the Garfield movie? The Garfield movie. Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> I, I wonder if I still have that. Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> oh shit, no! Well, you know what? I, I can't kill them just yet. No wonder people hate dark chapters. Well, no dir. No dir. Yeah, the, the having the music keep going is like the biggest brain move of this game so far. Oh, it is. Yeah, how does that new game plus work? Hmm. I, don't I don't really know how a new game plus would even work for something like Fire Emblem. That only happens after you finish the game. You just start all over, and yeah. But do you keep your weapons and stuff, or what? No. You just unlock a new mode, or at least a new difficulty. That's not New Game Plus, then. That's just playing on a different difficulty. 
Who cares? It unlocks <laughs> more content anyways. Like, I beat Ninja Gaiden Sigma, and I, like, unlock hard mode. You know, that's the same thing. Most games Jacob, have I've, that. Jacob, I've told you before, hard mode is a lot different than the other two modes. Well, obviously. It's bullshit mode. <laughs> obviously. I guess technically you have two healers on your team if you have Riz and um, Mist. Yeah, I guess. Shit, I forgot! Oh, Wind is weak to fire. Or you could just dodge. <laughs> like the Chad he is. Alright, whatever. <laughs> you can attack those guys. Three Houses has a better new game plus where you get to keep your professor rank and weapon levels. Yeah, that's something. I mean, it's hardly in any different because you don't even get to keep your level ups. Oh, surprise attack. Even DLC can... Even the DLC of Three Houses can do... A better new game plus. Wait, so speeding up doesn't speed up the game either. Well, how the fuck do I actually speed up the game then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I have to look into it. Yeah, I think it's better. You should look into it. Yeah, because it was working fine earlier. So I, I, I increased the speed, and all it did was raise the pitch of the audio. It doesn't. It didn't actually speed up the game. Which is really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, speeding up just kills the audio. It doesn't actually speed up the game. That's stupid. Really lame. I mean, yeah, hey, at least, at, least, at least they're getting closer. Yeah, we are about to finish this chapter. Yep, Skinner's Scanner. Oh my god! Skinner! Why are you not at the end of the chapter already, Seymour? Why, why are you not getting a crit, Seymour? Oh, uh... That's because I have a 10% crit rate. <laughs> Super intense. She's this, this close to leveling up. Why? The steamed hams episode. Nobody can fucking attack. Wow, so mid. No attacking. Maybe he will. Well, I guess the best time is to heal up. The furry cult is blocking the way. Damn it. Sure, they are. It's called bath salt. I wonder if that is any, in any way related to summoning salt. No, it's no, it's a type of drug. Wow. Oh. When is assault a drug? <laughs> mm. I remember it's salt big... being drug. Yeah, it's it's a special kind of salt. You could say. Well, it's making me pretty salty right now. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Basically, it's and a psychedelic. Window. Basically, it's a psychedelic kind of drug. Oh. Magic mushrooms. Similar to that, yeah. Is Soren gonna level up? No, not yet. No. Also, I'm gonna have a real hard time leveling up everybody. That's why you don't level up everybody. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> That's why you don't do a 2020 Shadow Dragon run trying to level up no. everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to level up the units that I really like. Oh no, he's dead. Whatever will Here's I do? Here's the problem, Jacob. There are too many good units that I really like to use. Oh, no. that, that's the problem, Jacob. I can see that. There are units that I like. There are units that are useful. But there are even units that I really like, but I can't use them because they are basically useless. Who's useless? Mm, Leith. Dang. Because her stats are not even that good. And she levels up slowly. Slow Leith. Yeah, slow Leith. We're getting close to finishing the chapter, by the way. God damn, will you guys hurry up? I wish we could speed up right now. Come on. At least it's, fa it's still faster than Path of Radiance, though. <laughs> yeah, I will say that. Definitely a QLL right there. Alright, bike, it's time to go. Time to level up. He better get a good level up, though. For all it's worth. Oh, he, well, he got a crit. <laughs> That's Fire Emblem logic for you. Well, Just he, he got strength. He is, Fine, st he's stronger now. Fine, that's what I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep strength. Oh yeah. The ones that I'm gonna focus on leveling up his stats are basically. Uh, I want to attempt to max out his freaking freaking strength, speed, and defense. That's what I'm going for, at least. Makes sense. I mean, that's pretty much what I would level up to. If I at least get one of those stats, then I'll at least be satisfied. If I don't, then... Just remember, Jacob... Not all of these stats are predetermined. Well, some characters just have better growth rates than others. Yeah. But the thing is, is that the growth rates can vary because if all of your stats are finished, then uh, then you'll have no choice but to get one specific stats increase. Yeah. That's basically how it works, sort of. <laughs> My favorite app for movies is Discord. Thanks, random news article. We right. really didn't... We really didn't need an entire army like that. We did not need an entire army of tigers. I'm good. I'm good, bro. We literally destroyed everybody. It's not Leith, so I don't care. Leith also has a sister. I know. Do you even know who she looks like? Looks similar to Leith, I know that. Basically, Leith is older. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep, just getting everybody lined up. Get in line, everybody. You know what? I'm just going to end the turn. Wait, are you... Are barracks among them? Why would Barak fight alongside the subhumans? I'm Garfield. 
Just, <laughs> he just crit. He crit the guy. He just crit Garfield. Well, at least the chapter's over. He made he made it. He just fucking crit. We done. Yeah, the guard's dead, and the rest of the troops fled to the east. We're in good shape. Huh? Is that it? It's I still crave blood. Find me more humans to kill. The civilians have no quarrel with us. And the soldiers who surrendered have handed over their weapons. Ugh. If this is all the fight Benyon can give, the war will be over too soon. I wouldn't be so sure. We won this fight, yeah. But the Empire has a massive army. Don't forget that there was a time when Benyon ruled over us. Hmm. <laughs> you forget. That was before my time. Did you listen to a word I just said? Soldiers of Gallia, the battle is over. We have won. No human can stand against the steamed hams. We are not done yet. We'll continue to fight, kill, and crush our enemies. Uh, what a stupid speech. Don't say things like that. I hear that the Lion King of Gallia was not so different when he was young. So try not to judge so quickly. I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard to imagine. I'm sure that Skinner will settle down given time. Well, I hope so anyway. Victory awaits us in Mogul. We shall attack, conquer, and celebrate our victory. Ooh, is that be sent me sauce? Now, what is it this time? Makaya as a ninja, a wooga. Oh, let me see. I like that. Yeah, that's some damn hey, good sauce. I've seen this alt before. She's got legs for days. And booba. I've been thinking, is this war something that we should really be fighting? After all, we know about Laurent's medallion. Suffering. As long as the dark god sleeps within the medallion, the world shall not war. Is that what you mean? The world shall not war? <laughs> what that... kind of translation is that? That's right. Our ancestors made a vow, and that's our responsibility to prevent the honor they strove against. Chaos is born of cloud strife. If the land is covered in war, the dark god will break free of the medallion and destroy the world. This war could easily spread across Tellius, and the Dark God could be awakened. Oh wow, it's just like the Dark Dragon Blade all over again. We are very yeah, fortunate during the Mad King's War, but it was a close call. Can we count on being lucky again? Except for the fact that the freaking Dark God is a lolly. <laughs> wow. Guess what I wanted. The world should not war. <laughs> yeah, we'll write, I'll write that oh. down. You know what? That's a good idea. The world should not war. Yep. Alright. Ra that... uh, Radiant Dawn Part uh, 7, I think this is. Yeah. There you go. You know what, Jacob? That should be a freaking motto for World War 3. <laughs> <laughs> the world should not war. <laughs> I already read that. Already, we're talking about a war between Benyon, the largest nation on Tellius, and three Laguz countries. That's half the known world, and it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Have they all forgotten about the possibility of the Dark God's rebirth? Final Fantasy rebirth. Final Fantasy VII rebirth. Hey all, Scott here. Sorry to interrupt. Lady Titania, Sorin, you're both very perceptive. I'd expect nothing less from the deputy commanders and the strategist of the Grail mercenaries. Also, I'm trying to remember what Titania's Japanese name was. It was something really weird. Yeah, you should find it. I, I need to remind myself. It was like, it was, it was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, uh, it's Tiamod. That's her Japanese name. <laughs> that is not a good name at all. <laughs> I think Titania works better than Tiamod. <laughs> it's don't... not even... You don't yeah, Tiamat worry, is not even... The whole situation's under control. Tiamat is not even a good name. Yeah. 
Also, I just, I, I also, I'm just now realizing Ranulf has heterochromia. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I just noticed that. <laughs> okay. The medallion's under the protection of the Serna's royal family. Yeah, look, we got uh, Luan, Mr. Van Driesen, and Leonardo da Vinci, the, the Cowabunga Man. Yeah, the <laughs> Cowabunga Man in Teenage Mutant <laughs> Ninja Turtles. Yep. And uh, we got some more Paper Mario TTYD videos to watch later. Oh, that's nice. Even if the Gord escaped, the Herons can control it with their Galdra. Mr. Van Driesen, Luan, and Prince Raphael, was it? Oh yeah, it was not Leonardo, it was Raphael. I'm stupid. Yeah, it's Raphael. Uh, ages ago, the Heron leader, Laurent, sealed the Dark God within the medallion. I wonder why. His descendants of Tepish have therefore been taught how to subdue it with their, sealed, their seed magic. Oh yeah, and Jacob, by the way... By the way... There is something... There is something new that happens in Radiant Dawn when you play New Game Plus. Yeah. You get a few extra units. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, well, just just a few, not entirely, but... Who do you get? Uh, mm, you probably get a uh, Seferin. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, he... In the in this uh in this file he is not playable. Fuck. But uh in the but in New Game Plus he is playable. Good on That's him what for I being playable. That is what I forgot to mention, but you'll be disappointed as to when he'll be there. What is he gonna be in like the final boss and that's it? You just guessed it right. You literally guessed it right. Yep, that's typical. That's a typical Fire Emblem thing. You get, like, the coolest unit on, like, the last chapter of the game. Well, the funny thing is that almost all of his stats are capped. That's good. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like how you get Kokton at the very end of Engage. And she's, like, one of the best units as well. I'd imagine why. So that's the story. We'll be relying on heavily of the power of the real mercenaries. I'm counting on y'all. Understood. We'll do our best to see this conflict finish as quickly as possible. Right, Ike? Yeah, of course. The world should not war. That was just the prologue. <laughs> we gotta we'll get do, to the... Uh, we gotta do chapter one. At least we'll finally get into the more interesting chapters. The Alliance sacks Flagare with ease and sets off immediately for Mujil. The Mujil? Flagare and Mujil are both <laughs> what? The that's not what how, that that, that's, not, that's not how I expected it to be pronounced. For many years in the military plans of Gallia, Crimea, and Dea. Well, you know what, Jacob? I just give up. I gave up on pronunciation a long time ago. However, Oh yeah, in what year? I'm gonna keep calling it Moogil. <laughs> like Moogle from Final Fantasy. Yeah, I know what what you're talking about. Moogle from the entire Final Fantasy franchise. Yep. Might as well be the mascot of the series. Besides Chocobo. Uh, FF's got two mascots. Lagoons and Barok. We got Chocobo and uh, Moogles. Cool. Just like how Dragon Quest has slimes. Now, our yeah. next talk, it's Moogle. Its gate's already sealed. And it looks like they intend to keep it that way. You know, the funny thing is that the doggos from Neptunia are inspired by the slimes from Dragon Quest. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny because those are the mascots of Neptunia as well. And ironic as well. Yeah. You have, you have even more sauce? Ooh, I want to see. Who's that? Is that the is that the lolly that Jose is talking about? Yeah, that's the goddess. The lolly goddess. Oh, and Micaiah. Ooh. Ooh, I actually know that. I oh. actually know where, where that attire comes from. <laughs> it looks like Daria's outfit. Except that it was actually in. Except that it was actually in one of the official artworks from Awakening. 
your stream. I'm not joking. I am not joking. I actually did send you images of these. I approve. Just to remind you, I'm going to pin of what I'm talking about. All right. Give me a sec. It, it will be quick. I'll scan the target. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Makai was no, in the cool. DLC maps? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it is from the DLC maps. I mean, Radiant Dawn was one of the last Fire Emblem games before they went to Awakening anyways. At least the last... It was what? the last new one, because I don't give a fuck about Shadow Dragon and New Mystery of the Emblem. Yeah, New Mystery of the Emblem just... New, new Mystery of the Emblem is actually the first Fire Emblem game to have DLC. You. <laughs> and then history happens. I mean, Awakening makes more sense. That's a 3DS game. For New Mystery of the Emblem, it doesn't make sense. How how could you install DLC on a DS console? Um, I have no idea. All right, Jacob, I pinned. All right. Oh yeah, I do like that. I do like that outfit. Even though her face kind of looks stupid. It looks pixelated. That's what that's what she actually looks like. Her face actually looks like that. Damn, <laughs> Makai, I got shafted really hard. This figure won't go as easily as I battled in Flickware. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just gonna pronounce it differently. <sighs> Barok are all the same. We'll run them down just as before. Skinner, please. Listen, just this once. Skinner? Skinner? What do you think, Soren? The Fugger survivors will all have worn Moogle by Mario Dance. <laughs> Flagger sounds like McGuire. Flag wire. You know, I'm gonna call it the McGuire. <laughs> yes. The McGuire flag. <laughs> yes. That's so obvious. Even you must have anticipated it. You don't have a plan. No. Do not bother me, Barak boy. Why should I bother with plans? It's not even a Barak. <laughs> he doesn't know <laughs> that he's um. A, what is it called? A uh, labeled. A branded. branded. Yeah, a, not a labeled. <laughs> what? Okay. You just mispronounced it. No soldier would cower behind stone walls after being challenged to a battle. We're, we will issue a challenge, and they will meet it. We have no need for plans. Do you realize how completely absurd you sound? The enemy did not build the fortress so they could stand outside of it. They'll not come out of their own accord. It's called Team Fortress. I'm glad, glad to see Soren is still, like, as brutally honest as ever. Hey, that's what I like about Soren. At least he is freaking honest. <laughs> it's like, it's like someone will be like, this is my plan, and then Soren will be like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> but those bear are cowards. They'll hide from us. What do we do? I do not know how to fight cowards. Don't you get it? That's what we're trying to decide. Think, Skinner, think. Just try. No, that's your job, Ranulf. You're my second in command. Think of a way for me to use my strength. Anything else is a waste of time. I'll be treading outside. Tell me when you have a plan. Wait, Skinner? Skinner? <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm amazed that Sun was desperate enough to make a f that fool a general. I'm tempted to agree with you on that, but there's a reason he's here. Take my cool JPEG background. Never in its history has Galley invaded another country. Hey Jacob, you want to know of another ge of another FE game that has terrible DLC? Uh, Fates? Yes, you guessed <laughs> it right. That's the other 3DS FE game. 
Yeah, and because I feel like the people who made Fates didn't even put effort on the DLC. They, they uh, mostly... They, they, they wanted to make a, a quick buck after Corn was added into Smash. Most likely. Same with Valentia, by the way. Since it's a game that didn't even need DLC, it's supposed to be a remake of an old game. Well, you know what? Shadows of Valentia does not have Garen Quest. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> it definitely doesn't have Garen Quest, I'll say that. Definitely not. They don't have any experience or tactics to fall back on for this. Uh, well, don't worry, Randall. We have a lot of bonus XP. On top of that, our oh, general will. You've seen it yourself. Skinner, he doesn't pay attention to details, nor does he strategize. Sadly, it's not just Skinner. Most of the goos are the same. They're arrogant and stubborn. It doesn't even occur to them that they won't be able to power through the bark forever. Why isn't the Lion King leading the army? It's not an option. We aren't mobile like the bird tribes. Once we leave our lands, it isn't easy for us to get back. We can't just take our king away from his domain. Well, what about, uh, what did I call him? What do we call him again? What, do you mean Gifka? Yeah, what do we call him again? Hmm, uh, give me a Give me a sec. <laughs> we Hmm. Well, I honestly have no idea. I forgot what we oh, called we... him. Didn't we call oh, yeah, him, oh, like, yeah, we, Oh, yeah, we called him Scar, that's right. Because he's like he, cause he looks he's like the opposite of the Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about Scar then? There has to be other capable generals in Gallia. Yeah, you'd think General Scar would lead, but uh, Scar has other duties to attend to. So really, that just leaves Skinner. Oh, what a great family! We have the Lion King, Skinner, and Scar. Yeah, a fantastic family that we did not need. Yep, I understand. Lagoos chooses their leaders based on strength. You better have 28 strength then. If Skinner is to be the next king, this war is the best opportunity for him to learn about strategy. Exactly. Since that's the case, we need all the help we can get. Please, lend us your wisdom. Without your help, what's this war's outcome certain? You can count on us, Randolph. We've told you already, we're here to help. Soren, say something. Well, well, looks like your strategist isn't fond of Lagoos just yet. He was never fond of Lagoos. I'm sorry, Randolph. He's gotten better, but... He's still, a bit, is he... he's still a bit racist. Nor is he fond of the Barak. <laughs> Soren just hates everybody. He literally does. He just hates everybody. Soren, Randolph helped us out. On top of that, he's our client. It's our turn to return the favor. And our job to do it and our job to do it right. Got that? Fine. But it'll cost you more. Thanks, all of you. We appreciate the help. <laughs> what is it gonna cost him? <gasps> some extra kisses on the cheek or something? Give That's me some a yes. Give me some time myself. I'll come up with a plan to get us through this mess. Great. We're counting on you, Soren. I know. I'll do what I can. Alright, I think that's a great that's a great time for me to get up and use the potty. So I'll be right back. You're not welcome. And no items. Well, I'll be right back.
I'm guessing Jose also took a BRB. <laughs> well, that's just great. I should have paused if I knew he was gonna do that. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. All right, cool. I brought myself some snacks. Wow, same. <laughs> what did you? What do you have? A muffin. All I got myself is chocolate milk and Snickers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's so, no what's wonder, so funny? Because you aren't you and you're hungry. Yeah. And I'm and I'm not me when I'm drinking some chocolate milk. <laughs> Crazy. Imagine well. if there exists. <laughs> you know, Jacob, it, it just makes me wonder if there will ever, if Snickers would ever make freaking Snick, will make chocolate milk out of their Snickers. I was gonna. I thought, you were, I, I thought you were gonna say, imagine if Snickers actually made Sniggles. No, I'm just thinking about if they would ever make, they would make chocolate milk out of Snickers. Because honestly, that That'd would be, be a really cool idea. It kind of reminds me of how Score made cookies. How? Well, you know what Score is, right? No. No. Well, it's a chocolate we have in Canada. It's like a. It's it's like, it's like this flat toffee-like chocolate. And uh, someone thought it'd be a great idea to put score in cookies, and I, I agree. I think that's a good idea. Now it just makes me wish I would be happy to go to Canada. Yeah, there's good stuff there. I'm just not happy of where I'm living, <laughs> just to be honest. Yeah, because the ISP gets, keeps getting pissed off. <laughs> they always get pissed off. And, and yes, I'm going to keep making that joke. I'm going to keep making jokes about the ISP getting pissed off. <laughs> They always get pissed off. What do you mean? <laughs> if I were to live in India, the, the ISP would never care. <laughs> I mean, they sure don't care over here. So do the... So aren't the Indians. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would do anything to go back to my parents' home, home country. I never asked where that home country was. Eh, somewhere in somewhere in Central America, basically below Mexico. Oh, like like Honduras, El Salvador. Those are those are the countries one of my parents live. Hmm. I'm not too good with geography though. <laughs> I mean that's fine. We all have to. I just list it out. I just listed out of the countries where my parents used to live. Just saying. Yeah, that would be nice. Basically, if you want to know what, particularly if you want to know the geography, you know where Mexico is, right? Yep. It's below Texas. Central America is below Mexico. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty much elementary stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to do something. <laughs> Clearly, because I don't know my geography. We're not here to talk about geography, we're here to talk about Radiant Dawn. I like Radiant Now give me something good. Please. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> and she capped out... She capped out friggin' strength.
Never thought I'd like muffins with raisins so much, but here I am. I know, I know, I know not everybody likes raisins. That's pretty... Raisins could be pretty, uh, controversial. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. Raisins are not that nutritious. I mean, I know they're not nutritious, but they taste good. Yeah, not a good level up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, not a good level up. <laughs> Now that is a decent enough level up. This better not be predetermined. Okay, hey, that's. Hey, he capped out speed? <laughs> okay, that's a good enough level up. Oh, you found something food knees, Epi? Alright, what? Huh? Oh. Well, if it will load. <laughs> There's something wrong with your Ethernet? Epi, it's not loading. It broke. <laughs> well, I guess we won't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, she are really you, does are need are to you, load Oh, you, you send it to Jose? Well, then why did I get a DM? <laughs> No, honestly, she really does need the level ups. Yeah, and somehow they made Miss even cuter in this game. I don't know how they did it. Really? Why? Uh, I think it's I think it's the I think it's the longer hair or something. Even and though the, she's an adult. And the orange outfit, yeah. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> at all those levels. Surprisingly, my, uh, my Discord uh, message logger didn't even kick in for that. Usually it mm -hmm. does. Let me check my message since I did get a ping. You got it. You, Zappy said something at you. I don't know what he said, though. He sent me an image of Ileana, uh, <laughs> Mia, and... Micaiah. Oh, that is all. That is all very good sauce. Yeah, except for except for the fact that she's that Ileana is eating a carrot. <laughs> Ileana's the bunny now. You could say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great! Another dark. Oh, uh, these subhumans don't know much. I don't know how much trouble they're causing. We can't go anywhere. Tell me about it. Just yesterday, we could have gone out for drinks and had ourselves a merry old time. Fortunately, we have enough food. They'll give up if we hold out long enough. <laughs> Mist and the Le Leith and her sister, looks like. Ah, uh, sorry we're late. Who are you? Why are you outside? The city's under lockdown. You need permission to leave your homes. What? Well, that's weird. We are told to hand out food to all the Watchmen. What? Well, I guess this isn't the place. Should we head back? We don't want the food to spoil. Wait, guys, don't go. Don't leave me don't alone. Leave me alone. You don't have to head Please back. No. Please no. Please <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that food is for us. We're sure of it. Oh, wonderful. Wait, you call everyone then. I'll pass out the food and drinks. Mm. Looks like the Watchmen are all asleep. Great job, everyone. Now, I'm pretty sure that they literally roofied the freaking food. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, probably use some kind of drug to knock, oh. <laughs> to knock the people out for sleep. Oh, nice. <laughs> or just black out. First step is done. Next, we clear out the remaining guards and open the main gate. Randolph's troops are waiting for us inside. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who are you? Sub humans, what's going on? What happened to the lookout? <laughs> Gromit? <laughs> I don't know what voice to give this guy. You can give him you know something. What it, you know what his name rhyme, rhymes with? What? Vomit. Vomit? I don't know. I voice like everybody, so you can voice him. Honestly, I'm not sure what voice I could give him. Hmm. Oh, I see the sauce now. Micaiah, Mia, and Ileana. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. To be honest, I have no clue what voice to give him. <laughs> he looks bored. <laughs> he kind of does, but... <laughs> I really want to say he looks like He-Man's brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give him the He-Man voice then. But, I don't know. <laughs> if you give him blonde hair, then he sure does look like He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> But even then, I can't even do the He-Man voice. <laughs> you know what? I got, a, I got a better idea. What kind of idea do you have? How about every time he has dialogue, I just play the He-Man song? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's a good idea. <laughs> you have a limited number of turns this battle. Oh. Okay. Wait, what happened? Oh, oh yeah, right. I forgot. Whenever I do that, it fucks up the music. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me disable that real quick so I don't do that again. <laughs> also, uh, we got another music. Nah, nah, nah. This sounds nice. Okay. Well, I gotta get some juice, so I'll be right back again. Yeah, you have and fun with your juice while I'm drinking chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. And uh, if any characters have dialogue, uh, just go on without me. I don't want you to like st be stuck there for like a few minutes. That's fine. Oh shit, I realize he has a bow! Wait, what? Yo, he adapt! Come on, Soren, give me a good level up. Okay, that's good. Even though he doesn't get speed.
I mean, the Adept was kind of necessary since he can't double. What you gonna do? That thunder's not gonna do anything. You're no Ness. You are not Ness to use PK Thunder. Oh no! We got hammer. Cool. And I can crit. And you got a longbow that can't even do anything. Cool. Oh shoot. This will not end up well. Oh no! Oh, this will not be good. Please do not double. Thank you. Yeah, come back and we get banger music. I was kind of scared of what happened. What happened? Riz was about to die. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. Archer, crit. Archer moment. Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. <laughs> See? Because yeah. I got a crit. I love that killer bow. Holy shit. He is almost dead. Hey, at least he has concoctions. Or you could use mist to heal him. <laughs> yeah, That's I, why. And also, his Epi says unnecessary adept moment. Whatever that means, because I wasn't here for it. <laughs> or an actually adepts. Oh, I forgot what that does. Is it like ignore resistances or something? No, it doubles automatically. Oh. Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. <laughs> I can crit! <laughs> Damn. That's fine. At, at least I could get more defense. <laughs> I like how and you I'm still gonna... have that coin in your inventory. And I'm just going to get... For, I'm just going to max out skill at this point. Well, good on you. Yeah, those, those muffins are damn good. I also had some crackers, too. Oh, that's nice. So that's why I was gone for, like, an extra minute. I just really wanted some crackers, man. I get that. Yeah. I don't know, man. Every now and then I just get that craving for, like, cream cheese and crackers. It's like saying that I would want bagels and cream cheese. Well, I had that last night, too. <laughs> Lucky. I, mean, I buy I bagels even... every now and then. I haven't even got bagels. Um, Bagels are pretty cheap to get. Yeah, I know, but... My parents don't give me bagels that often as much as I used to. Oh, get them for yourself then. <laughs> There's no store that's close to me. No. I'm sorry, but uh, it's true. Amazon? Maybe. What does Amazon have anything to do with this? <laughs> or not Amazon. Um, I don't know, ask Walmart to do like a delivery or something. 
I guess I could do that. My, my, my mom does that all the time. She just orders from Walmart and has them deliver to the door. <laughs> Bagels and Great cream cheese. Uh, the only cream cheese I ever get is the standard cream cheese, because they got rid of my favorite jalapeno cream cheese like a few years ago. That's awful. How dare they? That's like the best kind. The other cream cheeses suck. Like, they don't have any good ones. Like, they have, like, chives and onion and shit, and it's just like, no. What's wrong with onions? This just doesn't work for cream cheese. I th Jacob, I think onions are good when cooked. I mean, I'll have them in, like, my hot dogs or my pasta. But On my burger. Not Yeah, and burgers. Not in cream cheese, though. Everything bagel and healthy cream cheese. That is that is exactly what I like to eat. I always had that. I never had jalapenos with cream cheese. Oh, that's good. I recommend yeah. it. The only time I have jalapenos is when I eat it with my chicken wrap. Well, thanks to you, I started doing that. <laughs> I, started oh, yeah, putting, well. I, I started putting jalapenos in my wraps. And that's a good, that was a good idea. We'll better, than, well, better than the red peppers. Well, let me tell you this, Jacob. If you want to make your freaking chicken wrap taste even better, why not? Why not mix it with? Why Why not mix the chicken tenders with uh, freaking uh, ranch and buffalo sauce? It actually tastes delicious. Hmm. I'll have to see where I can get ranch and buffalo sauce at. I'll see if they got it in Walmart. Cause I never considered that. I'll write it on my shopping list and I'll have a look. I always just put hot sauce on my chicken. So, I'll see. Jacob, it's easy to find ranch. Ranch buffalo sauce. Well, I mean, you could get these separately. Man, buffalo sauce is good. Yeah, try to mix... Like I said, try to mix uh, ranch with buffalo sauce. It actually tastes amazing. You could... You could just feel, you could just taste the freaking creaminess of the ranch and the spice and the hotness of the buffalo sauce. That's all I can say. Well, since the hot sauce is already spicy, I might just try out ranch. Good idea. And Leaf is about to kill. Why is Leaf yellow now? Oh, idiot! Yeah, what is that short spear gonna do? It's not gonna do anything! See? <laughs> See? 30%. Yeah, it's They're gonna try and go for Mia? Okay. You're gonna do- He has a 0% hit, right? And, a, and that's really funny. Mia just has a 1%. I mean, has a 1 damage. So nobody- nobody's hitting each other there. Nope. Oh shit, no! Oh boy. Yeah, I bike, forgot to mention bike that is, he's- bi Bike is getting jumped. He, he is so dead. Mm, I think he's gonna be okay. No, that armor knight is gonna kill him. No, kitty. This guy has one health. That's honestly funny. Any miss. Alright, get get Igna, get, get Igna the fuck out of there. The problem is that there's a crossbow. Oh. That can automatically damage. Hey, he's fine now. Do you have any idea how much I hate crossbows? Well, maybe you just haven't played Link's crossbow training. That's literally two different things. <laughs> wow, six damage. I mean, that- I mean, honestly, I- that could work since I could literally grind Mia. Yeah, so. Anyways, I have my window open, so if you guys hear any noise, I just want some nice cold air from outside. I can't hear. 
<laughs> I know, but uh, the the stream might pick it up. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that hey, way it, I it is nice that I'm done Ninja Gaiden Sigma now, so I can focus on doing Tomodachi life again. That's nice. Tomodachi life is always nice. Yeah, although personally, I'd rather work on my Super Mario Bros. X level instead. Hey, Jay, remember I told you that uh, Zeppi installed Garen Quest? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's actually playing through it, and he... <laughs> I I'm not sure... I mean, his thoughts about it is... He actually enjoys it. <laughs> he likes Garen Quest. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. He might tell you... I'm not sure if he'll tell you what happens in Garen Quest, so... I mean, I'd rather experience it blind. <laughs> yeah. That... I mean, he said... I'm pretty sure he said he was gonna do normal fates, but I don't honestly... Honestly, I don't even know if we should do normal fates. We should just only do Garen Quest. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fuck... Just... Because I'm pretty sure the fate story is shit anyways, so who cares? It is shit. So the, the, best the, story to, of... the best way to experience face is to play Garen Quest. <laughs> the story of Garen Quest is fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even joking. It is. I'm not even joking. It is fantastic. Yeah, I don't know if you're still here, Zeppy, but uh, what do you say we just not do? Um, what we just don't do face. We just skip it and go do no, a different no. and do a different game. No, no Leaf, you idiot! Wait, what's Leaf doing? She's getting herself killed! Well, I sure shall hope she doesn't die. Jacob, her stats are really low. True. Oh. Wow, Leaf, you're you are stupid. <laughs> Wait, what happens? What happens if Leaf dies then? In this, I don't think Leaf is gonna be dead. I think she just like leaves the mission. Yeah, she does. Wow, the second, yeah, the second I open my window, the fucking sirens are out there. Hey, I told you, Leaf is actually terrible in this game. I can see that. I just wish that she was good. You know? Now look, don't get me wrong, I really love Leaf. I really do. But she yeah, sucks. I, I like Leaf too, but she just... She really fell off after Path of Radiance. <laughs> Garen Quest could hopefully be fun, I won't die to bullshit crits. Yeah, there are some bullshit crits in that game, even though... Even though I never... Even though I never got crit in... In my experience of Garen Quest. But I mean, it's fine, because Garen Quest has peak storytelling. Oh, it does? Huh. Four. Four? Four damage. And hopefully... Mia gets... Good level up. You missed! And she crit! <laughs> and she got a crit. And leveled up, too. She better get a good level up, though. See, look, look how proud of Mia is. She's like, yeah. <laughs> That is the best level up ever! Yo! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mia getting peak level up right there. You know what? That's a highlight right there. Honestly, I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that one down. Jacob, <laughs> I've never been this hype ever since I finished the race in Sonic CD. That was funny. I'm writing that down. Oh no! Crossbow yeah, hitting die, me. You yeah, die, you stupid archer nut. <laughs> 
get get the fuck out out of that stupid crossbow nut thingy. Because seriously, that crossbow looks like a nut. Yeah. Imagine if, you know what, I just thought of a funny, a po funny possible sound idea I could put on my soundboard. It would just be the, what? it would just be Ryu's nutting sound when he dies from Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Yeah, what about it? I thought it would be a funny sound I could play whenever someone dies. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Thing is, I don't know how I'd be able to find that sound, but... I can transform! Cool. Wow. Hopefully he won't be as stupid as Lee. She's gonna crit. Or not. Well, she did do 10 damage. Wow, Mia's just gonna single this guy. Like, seriously. Solo this guy, not single. I don't think sh I don't think she needs a level up. She needs another level up. So I might know who to give the kill to. Well, I mean, you can't, yeah, you, you can't give it to Mist. Because she doesn't do any damage. At least I don't think... Yeah, I don't think she'll do damage. Also, I just realized, uh... Actually, never mind. <laughs> For some reason, I thought Shinnin did perfect damage. I don't know. Oh, no! Oh, no! On the other side, really? Oh, no. This is gonna take me a while, Jacob. Well, I don't <laughs> mind. We could probably we, we, we could probably average like two or three chapters per stream. <laughs> One unit died to a four percent crit twice. Crazy. Well, because I don't know. I I have a feeling that chapter two might be long as well. So I don't know. We'll see how long this chapter takes. Because I don't want to go for too long. I kind of want to take it easy the rest of today. That's understandable. Because we're going to play tomorrow again anyways. Come on, crit. 44 crit. There we go. Bro really that spinning worked. Bro, really spinning that, that arrow like he's fucking Ocelot. <laughs> wow. Skill. That was pretty that lame. Well, at least he maxed out skill. I'll say well, that. that. Didn't work. Stupid. He, okay. L the good news is that he he at least maxed out skill. He maxed out which, two of his stats already. You know that's a good thing. Maybe it gives me more time to max out strength. Max out defense next. <laughs> I don't think we'll have time to do that. He does perfect damage. Wow. Nice. You know, I, t I take back what I said about Gatry. He's not hes not a bad. He is going to be better than Braum, I will say that. Yeah, yeah as much as I love Braum. But I'm still going to use Braum anyways. <laughs> yeah. Also, if I'm doing Garan Quest, I need those cheats shaking my head. Well, Jose will probably know more about using cheats on the real 3DS than me. I've only used cheats one time, and that was for Mario Kart 7. Jacob, I know how cheats work in the in the real hardware of a 3DS. Like I'm, I'm more experienced with Citra. He's more experienced with a real 3DS. Because <laughs> I haven't played on real hardware much, just because I like to record my footage on emulate. On emu, it's not that hard. You just go to like the cheat section of Citra, and then you just put in a code like it's Dolphin or whatever. Just make sure you reset your game after you put the cheats in, because they don't always load. They do load. Not always. Some cheats have to only load when you reset the game after applying them. You know, I think Riz deserves the kill. Yeah.
But yeah, I know how cheats work on the 3DS. You just need to go to the Luma menu to, to, you know, just to turn them on. <laughs> Are there codes for getting all items? Probably. Either that or it's like a patch or something, like on um, Yuzu. Oh. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I am I am oh, oh, I am oh, so oh, in oh, trouble. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm so in trouble. Why? He might get doubled. Well, he's gotta be gamer enough. Let's hope for the worst. I mean, if look, if Mario and Luigi has codes for giving you 99 of everything, I'm sure Fire Emblem has a similar code for that. Yeah, they do have that. I tested out the cheats. Yeah. Alright. 6% hit rate. What are you worried about? You know, I think, she'll, I think Riz will be fine. Yeah, what are you worried about? These guys have dog shit hit rate. <laughs> Play at 28. They didn't even go for Riz. Did I really get worried over nothing? Yes. Hmm. Oh yeah, banger music again. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going on about Luigi's Mansion 2, and I'm just sitting over here thinking, well, I'm not playing it till October, because it's more fitting as a, as a Halloween game. Jacob, isn't Luigi's Mad Mansion a kid-friendly horror game? Oh, well, it's a horror game nonetheless. Why would I play a fucking horror game in the middle of June? Or July? That's like saying, why would I ever... Give me a sec. <laughs> Let me scan the target. Christmas music on November. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know it's a remake, but still. Well, I mean, to be fair... Playing Christmas music on November kind of does make sense because... Because the, the, the month is close to December. That's like playing... That's like playing the Grinch video game on September. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Oh, look, I have no problem with people playing the freaking Grinch movie on November. At least, at least, like I said, that's close to the holidays. I mean, I watched the Grinch in January, so I don't think I'm any better. <laughs> eh. Well. Just don't talk about January that much. Oh yeah, right, we don't like January. It's the worst month of the year. Did I she mean, get hit by a hammer? I mean, it's good for weather, you know, because it's nice and cold out for me, but... Mon mo like, money-wise, game-wise, and everything else-wise, it's kind of doo-doo. Yeah, it's depressing as hell. Yep. You get no money. No good games come out in January. No Boonie. No Boonie. Because Boonie is not until, like, March or April. Yeah, spring. Yeah, spring. The year of the rabbit. Nah. Oh, actually, I don't know. I haven't looked at the Chinese calendar. I don't know what year it is this year. Because they have a different animal every 12 years. Who cares about the Chinese calendar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I brought up the Chinese calendar. It was God who made the boonies. The boonie. The boonie. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna attack Boyd with you're gonna, that? You're gonna attack Boyd with your 62% hit rate? Yes, I, I guess, yes, I, I, he I, did. Guess, I guess he is. Yeah, what is that spear gonna do? 
That's that spear ain't gonna do shit. See? See? Yeah, Come, on, <laughs> Come on, crit. Come on. Never listen. Well, at least I rack up damage just so risk and kill. Because honestly, I think using Mia as a shield was a, was a good idea. Yeah, Mia is a surprisingly good shield considering she has good good speed and evasion. I'm not gonna lie, I might consider running the infinite pit again tonight. I'm gonna give it another try when it's like really late. But first, I'm gonna kill this archer. <laughs> and secondly, I'm going to delete Nathaniel Bandy's newest video. <laughs> You know what, Jacob? That's a good idea. <laughs> because Nathaniel Bandy's latest video is awful. <laughs> it is, it is literally a sin to humanity. <laughs> this, this, I, I know we're gonna piss off everybody with this ongoing joke, but I don't care. Like, who the I'm hell cares? I'm pretty sure Zeppi's gonna get pissed off about it. I think Z Zach and maybe someone else is gonna get pissed off, but whatever. Why would Zack ever get get angry? Because we bring up that joke all the time. Hey, and he, and boy, you got a good level up. Oh yeah, I approve. You see, this is the kind of level ups that I want. Pissed off about us making Nathaniel Bandy jokes. <laughs> That's just like that's just like a new trend. Actually, it's been a trend for a while. It's been like a, we've been doing that for a year. We're just pissed off of Nathaniel Bandy uploading a very cursed video. Well, and don't get me wrong, I think that Nathaniel Bandy makes good stuff every now and then, but yeah, he does. But he's been missing a lot recently. But not as much as the golden age of YouTube. Yep. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly makes better content. Wow, she's she's almost dead as well. Oh, I thought she was about to die actually. She she doubles. She I think we're double. gonna finish this chapter. I think we could probably finish the chapter, do the cutscene, and then I'm gonna probably call it a day. And then we'll play more uh, of this tomorrow. Okay. Why would I give a shit about <laughs> Why would I give a shit about that mid motherfucker? See, that's what I'm saying. That's the point. That's literally the point. Well, it looks like tomorrow's weather will be good. It's gonna be raining tomorrow, so it'll be a bit colder. We haven't reached the two hour mark. I know. Just yet. Are we clear? Good work, everyone. Open the <laughs> Open the gates. <laughs> I can't believe Ike turned into Jack Black Bowser. <laughs> the gates opening. Imagine if you try to do the freaking ping, the Pablo penguin from <laughs> the market. Do you yield? <laughs> ah, finally, soldiers of Gallia, follow me. As long as I lead you in battle, we will always win. Crush any who stand in the way of your steamed hams. Ah, great timing, Ike. Well, at least the timing is is at least good, good enough we won last night's battle thanks to you guys i appreciate your help you should be thanking soren it was all his idea yeah yeah i'll get right on that hey i'll just remember some of your old friends are here to see you huh hey over here a long time no see commander ike Oh, it's uh, the shopkeeper guy. Mustin, you came. It's great doing business with the Grail mercenaries again, and with you too, my feline friend. Well, at least the shop is gonna be open. Yay! <sighs> oh, you called them out here? I thought they just smelled the battle and sensed the profits. Well, we can't fight naked like you, Laboos, can. I also asked Mustin to call on some other friends to come join up as well. You'll be seeing an increase in your forces real soon here, Ranulf. Oh, thanks for everything, Ike. You've done so much for us already, and now you do all this? 
Listen, when we fought Dane, Gallia came to cry me as Dane without any questions. Now we're returning the favor, that's all. Alright, in any case, you guys are great help. Thank you so much. Alright, we can at least watch the opening cutscene of the chapter, too. Yeah. And do your, like, preparations Until now. Until we do the base, that is. Yeah. The tactics used by the Gallian army prove effective, and like Flaguer before it, Mujil falls to claw and steal. Before Benya can react, the Lagus overwhelm the remaining border defenses and cross into the Telgum region. With both defensive keeps overrun, Telgum falls like ripe fruit at the feet of the Lagus alliance. Inspired by their success, the Alliance takes advantage of this momentum to strike toward the very heart of the Benyon Empire. Zeus, Gados, and Seliora <laughs> okay, I'll are horrified by the speed of the Lagu's advance. The Lagu's! Banding together with the land-owning nobles of the Northern Territories, they massed the their Northwest Territories <laughs> to oppose the Gallian assault. <laughs> Why the Northwest Territories? That's a, a that's a real province in Canada. As a defensive really fight. now. The mm -hmm. Benyon forces make their camps hey, Jacob. the western bank what? in the Sestol Plains. Do you know one of the South Park characters named Randy Marsh? Yeah, he put his ball sack in a microwave. I was watching a clip of South Park and then I just it was just one of the episodes in South Park where Randy is in Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Why is he in Wheel of Fortune? You... There was one uh, clip in South Park that made me laugh that mm -hmm. Randy was not supposed to say. I, I kind of want to see that clip now. I don't know if you have okay. it. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, I'll read this dialogue. Maguire, Moogle, and Telgum are ours. And we're gonna watch. Oh, I found, I found <laughs> it. You found it. All right, I won't. Pl I won't. We show the footage on the stream, but I will play the audio so I can hear it. And don't even, don't even show the thumbnail as well. Just look it at your phone. I'll watch it on. I'll watch it on uh, my computer. No, don't. Why not? Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, maybe I won't play it on stream, but. Uh, Randy says a very funny word, let's just say. Yeah, he does say a funny word that will get people angry for no reason. Yep. Okay, I'll watch it when I'm done, then. I read that already. Just watch it off stream. Yeah, I will. But this war's just started. Um, <laughs> uh, well, what you should be saying is the war the world should not war. <laughs> The world should not war. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy's main force is in something something. Oh, now we fight the big battle. My claws itch for steamed hams. Hey, Ranulf, are there any strong enemies in the capital? There yeah, be plenty. Before we go, we must fight the Northern Nobles. Their collective army is massive. Also, Jacob, we should find some Junko sauce. I will definitely find Junko sauce after the stream. Hooray! <laughs> By now, I imagine Banyan and Central Army is heading our way. They're gonna be a real problem. So if we're too slow, we get caught in the middle. I don't like the sound of this. Soren, do you have a deployment plan worked out? Actually, why don't you all just relax? You might not believe it, but we have a plan this time. Wow, you guys having a plan? That's crazy. You see, an army of that size would require a massive amount of supplies to be able to sustain itself. So the Bird Ups tribes will hit the Central Army Supply Unit and slow their advance. Exactly, mate. The Empire fears the Bird Tribes. The shipless pirates, they're called. They specialize in surprise attacks and have been raiding Benyon merchant ships for years. One of the few times one of the Fire Emblem characters become a pirate was Roy. Yeah, <laughs> Roy's a pirate. Yeah, because he look he literally looks like one of the main characters from Skies of Arcadia. Ah, uh, makes sense. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the main character of Skies of Arcadia or Um, I don't think so, but whatever. Just give me a sec. Again. <laughs> Again. What, what what was that? <laughs> I I think I don't think anybody is actually gonna know where that sound is from. Yeah, I don't think I will know about that either. It's from. So this is the main, I mean, if you want, so I can this, tell you. <laughs> the main character from Skies of Arcadia. His name is Vice. Eh, he looks like he looks like emo Roy. <laughs> He's got like he's got like some weird goggles or something. Yeah, and he's got a flag. <laughs> I see what you mean though. Exactly. But yeah, he but yeah, that's literally the main character of Skies of Arcadia. But yeah, tell me where that scream came from. So it's a slowed down scream of Sonic from uh you remember Tito from SML, right? Yes. Remember, remember, how he, remember how he had a YouTube channel? Yes. It's from one of those videos. It's it's a video where Sonic falls off a roof. <laughs> oh my god. And he screams. But it's like I, really... But I, I slowed it down like a lot. So it sounds really funny. Okay, you wanna... You wanna... You wanna... Okay, you wanna know what's also funny to slow down a video? What? Try Mario's... <laughs> try Mario's va Valentine's Day problem. But with the Shrek part. <laughs> it's so random, but okay. Okay, I'll just po I'll also post another video as well for the time stamp. Alright. <laughs> After they hit the supply unit, the Bird Up tribes will head north. We'll meet up with them after we finish off the Nobles' forces. Then when the Central Army arrives, we'll attack them together. Does that pretty much sum it up? I'm surprised. As Lagoo's strategies go, it's not bad at all. We might even win, provided everything goes as planned. Ah, look at Soren lighting up to Lagoo's. He's already maturing. Oh, Tabon, we can't see it yet, but Benyon's close. Shouldn't you let your men take a break? It's been a while since we've seen Nutella. <laughs> yep. Oh, I did voice him. Yeah. Captain Falcon. He was in uh, Section 1, I think. Or no, he was... Really? Or, or Section 2, was it? I forget. He was in one of those two. Probably. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the land in one of those islands and get some rest. Falcon Punch! Oh, damn. You're, you're yeah, full of surprises, Nutella. Daddies. I expect you to join the Lagoose Alliance, but I, but I never thought we would play F-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> F-Zero 99. I wish you knew this. I wish you could be this helpful all the time. Tabon, just stop. I'm not interested in your friendship. Oh, uh, he's a tsundere. I gotcha. Yep, he is a tsundere. <laughs> the hawk tri The falcon tribe and the raven tribe used to live together in Phoenicus. Our tribe... Our tribes were like brothers! Yeah! <laughs> brothers! <laughs> Maybe if we mess up about some of our secrets... Maybe I could consider helping you and Dracula in the future. That doesn't really narrow it down, Tabon. Which secrets are you talking about? How about the secret where you stole my copy of F Zero G? <laughs> <laughs> of how you suddenly become first in the line of su succeeding in the throne of Kilvis. Oh, that secret. Sure, no problem. I'll tell you if we live through this war. Sound alright to you? 
Yeah, sounds yeah. fine to me. But you know, this war is going to be vicious, but at least our tribes will grow close again. Do you actually trust me? You might live to regret it. You're just trying to protect R Rayson, Leanne, and Raphael, and their father, King Lorenzia. Oh yeah. Is that so? As long as they are out on our side of the F-Zero Grand Prix, you won't betray us. I think that's enough to rest and small talk, though. Let's -a go. <laughs> the, uh, the F-Zero Grand Prix. That is it, everyone. See you at the next Grand Prix. General Lavelle, how'd it go? Hmm. What does this guy look like? Kind of looks a bit. He kind of looks like Kurt Cobain a bit. Sure, Kurt Cobain it is. <laughs> I don't know what Kurt Cobain sounds like though. Just listen to "Smells Like Teen Spirit." Well, you've listened to Teen Spirit, so you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try. It was no use. <laughs> no one would ever understand me. It breaks my heart. The nobles are too busy completing with one another for <laughs> rewards. Is he, and is he just gonna be singing the whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Realize the dangers to their life. Rewards? Are, are they crazy? The subhumans are at their doors, and all they care about is some ward. They only listen to each other. No one wants to listen to me. General Kurt Cobain, how are we going to survive this? My singing <laughs> smells like teen spirit. <laughs> smells like teen spirit. This is honestly a great way to end this episode. Uh, that's funny. Very funny. Like moon. Yeah. Ooh, silver card. What the fuck is I a silver I know what it does. Card? Is it you like, want to see what it does? What, do you get like sick deals on buying shit? A special card that reduces all items to half price. That is good. And apparently Soren owns it. Yeah, Soren definitely does own it. That's funny. So now yeah, you can let's... get all this good shit for cheap now. Hmm. What about shop? Ooh, you get a worm yeah. slayer. <laughs> and arm slayer. Oh, I'm, you know what, Jacob? I am definitely going to save the worm slayer. That is good. I'm actually, Jacob, I am actually going to save that sword for the, fi for the final section. Yeah, at least you have it. You want to know why I want to save this? Because there is a really tough final... There's going to be... There's actually one of the toughest final bosses in... I mean, one of the toughest final bosses in the game. <laughs> At least wait. five of them. Can't wait. Can't wait for the five hey, final the... bosses. Yeah, there are five final bosses in, in different endgame sections. And then, um... And, and then and one God, the... God Shattering Star is gonna start playing. No. I really don't want... I really don't want to play that music, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, as I was trying to say, one of the one of the final bosses in the end games have let's just say that they're that most of their stats are capped. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And one of them is the worst because one of them is a Laguz. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. And he's gonna be tough as shit. And the worst part about it is that he is an even worse version of Ashnard. God damn. Mm-hmm. You'll see why, but I'm not gonna spoil who it is. In other words, I can't wait. <laughs> yep. Looks like I'm very limited on items. Well, Lee. Well, actually, I'm very limited on... Limited. But at least I have a few money to spare. Money. Yeah, Titania needs more axes. More Moonie. 
<laughs> a bow gun? No. Bogan. I'm definitely gonna give that to Sheehan. You mean Shinnen? Shinnen. <laughs> Not Sheehan. That's a tell that's a Toho character. <laughs> it's a Xenosaga character. That too. You can store 99 more. <laughs> Good to know. You have a lot of storage. Hey, it's at least more than Paper Mario storage. You only get 32 in that game. I guess so. I mean, they are intelligent system games, so it makes sense. Ooh, hell yes! Hey, when did, we, when did we get these? When did we get all these lovely people? She needs another great land. Well, that means we that means we can have uh, Ileana and the Grail Mercenaries again. That's great. We will. And Ethany and Brom and everybody else. At least we got Heather. True. And Venom Snake. <laughs> yep. Brom. And Ileana. We are honestly happy to see them. Yeah, I am. They're all great. Now I'm gonna sell my items. <laughs> Damn, look at this guy's jawline. <laughs> I'm def you know, I'm definitely gonna sell spect Spectre card because I have no use in that. Yeah, that's some free money right there. I'm not gonna sell the coins. <laughs> the coins are useless. Yeah, exactly. You know what else I think you should sell? You should probably sell the herbs. Yeah. I'm not gonna use the herbs that much. Because they're just shittier vulneraries. <laughs> I'm gonna buy... I'm definitely gonna buy more daggers, I will say this. Steel dagger. Yeah, daggers are hella cheap. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna buy them to... Heather. I'm only gonna buy items that... that you gonna, uh, maybe get another hand axe? I don't know. I'll give, I'll give Ileana more thunder. Hell yeah. <laughs> thunder Sage. Wait, it, since she's a Thunder Sage, does that mean she can only use thunder? Mm, or can, well, she, yeah, or can uh, she use other, like, tomes? Yeah, she could use other tomes of different elements. But, like, she just specializes in thunder. Yeah. Like, what does that Thunder's... mean? Does that, does that mean that thunder does more damage than the other tomes, or what? Well, actually, she can level up... Th she can level up uh, the freaking thunder magic even further. Oh, yeah. that's okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and apparently there's going to be a special thunder tome that is SS rank. So she's the probably she's probably the only one who can max it out to SS then, right? Yep. Now I see. Maybe I should give Brom another axe. Yeah. Honestly, I think the silver card is going to be useful. <laughs> well, already it's been pretty useful. Well, it looks there like it's is. sunset now. Well, that's daylight savings for you. Yeah, I hate daylight savings. <laughs> Can't wait till tomorrow. It's actually going to be nice and rainy. I have a, I have many rains that happened yesterday. It was raining yesterday, so I was happy with that. So Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be nice, and then. Everything after that is gonna suck. It's gonna go up to 27 degrees, which I think is like 80 or 90 something in Fahrenheit. I'm gonna save. Well, wait, supports. I can titania. Sure, we can go with that. Nice. Only one defense, hit, and avoid. Makes sense, Mist and Rolf will be a support. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> Void and Gatry. Sure, Void and Gatry sounds good. 
Ooh, and they get plus one attack. And defense. Riz. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely Brom and <laughs> Nephany. And there's also Heather that wants to be with. Hmm. What I mean, do you think, Jacob? I mean, who are you gonna use more? Heather or Brom? I'm gonna use both of them. Hmm. I say go with Brom. Heather's mostly gonna be for stealing anyways, right? Yeah. And besides, Nephany and Brom is Nephany and Brom is just an iconic duo. Yeah, they are both con they are both country people. Yeah. But he Heather and Nephany though, Heather has a crush on Nephany. <laughs> Well, this is know. really hard to choose! I mean, I'm just gonna say go with Braum. Okay, fine. Braum it is. Braum kind of needs the support anyway. And look at that! Damn. Plus one. Attack. Hit. Yeah, Braum and Nephany always have good supports together. Oh, that's true. If only Heather... If only Heather had other supports other than Nephany. Yeah. Shin and Riz. Riz. Yeah, that could be that's... good. Ooh, that's also really good. Now, who else? I think... I think that's complete. Yep. Oh, I'm dying over here. I think we just save and call it a day. Yeah. Let's end the stream this, for now. This heat is killing me. Anyways, guys, yeah. thanks for watching uh, Radiant Dawn. We went for two hours. That's pretty good, I'd say. We'll do, yeah. we'll do, we'll do another two hours tomorrow, and probably do like chapter two and three. If only we could. If only we could go for three hours, that would be nice. Mm. I don't really. I don't. I don't think that'll be possible. But that's why I think oh, doing I it twice a week for four hours is also good. Jacob, I think it's possible that Jacob, we've done three hour streams before. Yeah, it just depends if it's nice enough or something out. It, it might be more possible tomorrow since it's raining and it'll be a little bit colder, so I'll see. I'll see how, it, how I'm Jacob, feeling. If it's winter, we could definitely go longer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Well, what about autumn? Maybe autumn is feasible enough. Yeah. But anyways, uh, we'll do more raining dawn tomorrow because I'm not doing much tomorrow either. Um, cause yeah. I'm taking a week off with Jordan, and, uh, I think I'll be, like, I don't think I'm doing much tomorrow besides Paper Jam. Yeah, I'm doing Paper Jam tomorrow, I know that. That'll be in the afternoon, I think, though. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to you on YouTube and Twitch, and, uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow, so, see you guys then. See you guys.